great. So I'm I'm happy to uh, demonstrate to you how how easy it is with the edge to integrate a PLC um, to a cloud platform. So first, what we will do in that call here in that demonstration, we will look on the um, PLC hardware and PLC software we've used for that demo. Next, uh, we uh, look on the integration itself, how we um, did that and how that works. And finally, um, we uh, look and uh, we, we will uh, see a live demo. Um, before we start with the demo, um, let's have a short catch up how um, what Thinedge does provide to send um, data to a cloud, because that's what we want to do with the PLC. So. Uh, for that, ThinEdge uh, use, makes use of the MQ, MQTT broker that runs on the ThinEdge device. And um, ThinEdge listens on uh, several um, MQTT topics. What we use is the attached measurements topics. Here, ThinEdge uh, expects a, a special payload uh, where first an, it's, it's a JSON payload with, with a name and the value. Um, uh, that name is um, the name of the measurement and um, that's the value of the measurement. Um, here's an example. So later that 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 is the name with uh, with which it, the measurement will appear in the cloud and that's according value and you can also add a timestamp. So let's let's have a look to the PLC hardware and PLC software um, as PLC hardware. Um, we are using a Revolution Pi. It's a um, it's a Raspberry Pi based PLC, and uh, as uh, Phil already mentioned, we as PLC software we use Codesys, um, who is uh, um, besides Siemens, the absolute leader in the automation automation um, industry. Um, the Re Revolution Pi um, bases on a, on a Raspberry Pi. The you can see the Raspberry Pi here in the middle, and everything around is electronic and mechanic um, that is added um, around the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, to make it fit for the industry. You can see it here in the in the housing, um, and with that, the Raspberry Pi is shaped into an industrial grade form factor. So with that, it complies to electrical, mechanical, thermal and thermal industrial mm -hmm. requirements and additional with all those uh, various IO and field bus modules modules that are also provided it's it's uh, ready for the industrial automation world <clears throat> um, I like to give you also a short overview um, about codices because I expect most um, in the call are not aware of that um, codices is a uh, software development environment for PLCs and it consists of basically of two components. The one is the Codesys workbench that runs on a, um, on a desktop PC. And the second part is the Codesys runtime system, the RTS that runs on the, on the PLC hardware. Um, the Codesys workbench is used by a PLC automation engineer to uh, create the PLC application. Therefore, he has several editors, text editors and graphical editors to create the application. Um, the workbench contains also debugs and finally a compiler um, to um, and 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 um, to to send um, to send the application finally to the RTS. Usually, um, a TCP/IP connection is used, and um, then the RTS on the PLC takes care to execute the application and observe the execution of the application. Uh, finally, let's have a sh short look at the structure of a usual PLC application. Um, a PLC application is, is a thing that is executed in a cyclic task. Um, you can see on that figure on the very left side the, the physical uh, hardware inputs and outputs. Um, and on the right side, you can see the, the PLC application flow. Um, what happens in such a PLC cycle at very first is reading the inputs. That means um, a driver on the PLC is triggered that reads all physical inputs uh, and uh, stores them into the RAM in the so-called process image. Next step is the PLC logic is triggered once. The logic, logic works on, on um, those inputs and um, also on, a, um, on, on an area where, where all outputs are stored. 
and after that trigger um, the outputs are written that means again uh, drivers are triggered that map all these outputs from these uh, from, from that process image in, in the RAM to these physical outputs. And that process image in the RAM, that is uh, a thing we later use. So let's have a look to the integration. Um, that um, figure shows the components um, that are now on the revolution pie. Um, all um, orange parts are co come by default with the re revolution pie. All blue things um, come with thin edge. Um, you can see on the left side here that again the code is this runtime system. On top there is a PLC application. Inside the runtime system there is a, a, the, the process image. <clears throat> and then there is a component uh, um, that especially access on the revolution pie, the so-called PI control, and that enables to um, access the process image from inside codices. On the right side, you can see thin edge and, and the MQTT broker. And um, so what, what we did, uh, first of all, we have um, built and deployed um, thin edge and the MQTT broker um, on the revolution pie and to make um, the glue um, what was needed is, is that event handler. Um, and um, uh, the important thing is that that PI control con contains already an MQTT client. And um, that is uh, um, that is uh, called and invoked for, for um, when the when data in the process image changes. And um, for each data change, the event handler is called and that event handler we implemented that, especially for, for Thin Edge. That event handler um, gets for, for a call the, the um, process data item, the, the name, the address, and, um, and the value. And that event handler returns um, a string that mat matches the MQTT payload Thin Edge expects. Just to go some slides back. So what the event handler uh, returns is in the end a JSON str string that matches that MQTT payload. Yes, and then MQT the MQTT client takes that JSON string and sends it to the broker. So we can see that better in that um, um, data flow um, chart. On, on the very left side, you can see the process image with some example um, data points. Here the example data point temperature with the value 25. You can see the PI control that can access the data, the process image, and um, on a change, it sends the name and the value to the event handler, and the event handler returns the according JSON string, and then um, PI control uses the MQTT client, MQTT client um, to publish that value. In our case, here the temperature with the value 25. Um, it publishes it to attach measurements and. Um, Thin Edge takes care to send, to send that then to the cloud. So let's come to the demo. What we will do now, we uh, create an, um, a small PLC application that um, uh, let, that flashes an, um, an LED on a, uh, that exists on the, on the revolution pie. That's the first step, and in the second step, we want to publish that state of the flashing um, LED to the cloud. So um, what you can see here is the code of this workbench um, with its um, I/O configuration. That means you can see here all I/Os um, that are available on that Raspberry Pi, on that sorry, on that Revolution Pi. And uh, the I.O. we use is that LED I.O. We gave that here a name, GLED, so we can that use in our PLC application. That's again the um, Codeless Workbench, but what you can see here now is um, and the, the editor um, for the pro uh, PLC programming language CSC. Um, I have by intention used here a graphical programming language, language just to demonstrate how how different PLC programming is uh, from usual software development. Um, I don't want to go here too much in details, but um, uh, what you can see here are components which are connected with each other. You can see here a uh, power on delay and power off delay and um, 
uh, th that is a variable that gives us input to the both delays the delay time and um, uh, due cascading uh, th those here um, 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 uh, sig um, th that signal that output signal uh, toggles uh, um, from one to zero and that selector routes um, depending on that input that that selector unit uh, routes whether that or that signal to the output um, depending on whether it, this is one and zero and so in the end here you can see the output and then that output the value zero or four arrives where um, zero stands for switch the led off and four stands for switch the led to green um, that's a, a short video we, so that we can see that really live in action First of all, we log in into the PLC. <laughs> now the program is downloaded. And we can directly start it. Now the program runs and you can see here on the right side the value that toggles uh, in, in the cycle of two seconds between zero and four, and that means uh, now the LED is flashing. So next step, what we will do is um, to tell the revolution pi that exactly that value should be sent over PI control and the MQTT client to ThinEdge and with that to the cloud. Um, Therefore, um, the Re Revolution Pi has has a um, web server installed for several configuration purposes, and um, that web server has an an, um, uh, an area where you can configure, you can see and configure all um, IOs that are available, a bit similar to what we see, saw before in um, in the Codesys IO configuration, and on the where here we can see our um, output we want to send to the cloud and uh, on the very right side for each IO there is an export button and um, enabling that um, tells um, the MQTT client that it should catch up that value and uh, send to thin edge and that's everything uh, we have to do and so now we can again um, start the PLC application Logging into the PLC, starting it, we can again see it's it's flashing inside the workbench. Um, so now let's have a look on the uh, local MQTT bus on the device itself. Here we can see now the messages and the payload. Um, we saw before, and here the value reflects um, the value item reflects what goes to the cloud, and you can see that matches what we see, see in in Codesys. And let's head uh, additionally um, look into the cloud. That's uh, my own Comlosity tenant with my device. That's a revolution pie, and that revolution pie published exactly that value to the cloud, and we can see that value also reflects what we see on directly on the device on the MQTT bus. So, what did we do, and what did we see? We um, uh, we have uh, ThinEdge installed on the Revolution Pi. We have integrated um, with, with the Codesys application. And we saw there is a minimal, absolutely minimal touch point uh, for the PLC engineer with ThinEdge on the one hand. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the, the PLC application kept completely untouched. Um, in that context, I want to have a special thanks to, to Revolution Pi, especially to, to Boris, uh, who did a great job. Uh, he provided, on the one hand, uh, us with hardware with the Revolution Pi, and on the other hand, 
um, he realized with his colleagues uh, that the code is a uh, thin edge integration with the under the revolution pi. So a great thanks for that.